Good evening, fellow punters. Mickey D back with you on Friday evening, just before half six, um, with a few for tomorrow. Um, Ryan Moore is just after winning for us and mixed dream, 100 to 30, nice price. He was 72 all day. Uh, he done what I thought he might do, um, finish fast. He was unlucky the last time, uh, showed good speed. Uh, he's a great strike rate with uh, Teal. I, a man was listening to me last night was on the television. He said a lot of stuff that I, that I had said. Um, what do you call uh, The other two were, Ferdia was gambled on sixes into five to two. Um, stable mate wanted Danny Mullins, who was a good strike rate for John Ryan. I just thought the other one at the price. Pity there wasn't eight in it, and I'd have said to back it each way. And uh, the other one, my mate Bob, uh, got placed. Actually, I, I don't know a small love for small money in each way, a cum with the four of them. If the other one gets placed, uh, there's 10 runners now, and the green bookie is paying four places, so hopefully, he might get in the first four. Uh, to get that bet up. So we're going all right. We're ticking along um, grand with that one to run yet tonight. Um, there was a few winners as well put up a uh, fair play to you, um, today. Uh, the Mayo man, uh, Bell Mullis, uh, Damien Kelly, he put up one that won 5-2. to two, And Peter Fit Bishop put up uh, two there last night. And Bold Capitals has uh, got everybody's attention, I would imagine. Uh, Chateau and uh, what was it, Chabrol? I was thinking of C and C. Is that sort of some sort of champagne, isn't it? We might have a bottle of that on the bus tonight. Um, and there's a few more to run there. Um, Christina was saying that Dalglish's horses and uh, McEasterby's is fancied by somebody. A couple of them fancied that eligible. Um, so uh, I put four of them there for an each way lucky fifteen. Um, anyway, uh, I recorded a video last night with a view to uh for people for the all ireland um and i'll put it up later tonight i'll put up this one first and i'll rattle up that one later it could be after midnight for us up i don't know um but um i uh it, the hurling is is our national game and the all ireland final is on sunday big game for the two counties and um uh, i just done something different um there's a, an almost funny into to it, actually. I was going to uh, delete some of it, but uh, you'll see yourselves when you get to it. But um, ah, it's not too bad. Uh, it's a bit different. I'll also put up uh, an All-Ireland double on that on the description, either tomorrow evening or uh, Sunday morning. Uh, I'll try and get two for Sunday. I don't know if I can. Uh, I'll put a double up, uh, uh, hopefully, for, uh, for the two counties. Tomorrow... The 420 at the Cora is a ladies' derby, mile four, Kazakh Daria. I tipped it before and uh, it didn't run. They pulled it out when there was good money for it. But um, it ran a good race uh, the last time against um, Earl of Tyrone and he had match fitness on his side and he won again since then. But the four year old filly out of Derby winning Hares and the half sister to Catani and a few other li uh, nice ones. It's owned by the Aggie Ken. Um, it won a maiden over a mile four in uh, Leprestown last year. So distance and ground is fine tomorrow. And it beat Cycladic that time of Jessica's, and that was rated 91. Um, so one run this year over Earl of Tyrone uh, is to be ridden by Rachel Blackmore. So lots of pluses, I thought. It's a three to one. Uh, well, we'll have a two point win on that. Um, then uh, staying with the Curra in the Scurry Handicap in the 235. 17 declared, 6 furlongs. No 3-year-olds since 2015 has won and a 50 to 1 won it last year. Major power. A fourth in that last year was Big Gosse. We've seen a couple of bits, uh, snippets of his form this year. He was uh, second to Mouse Tucker and he was second in the Rockingham over uh, fast finish and 5 furlongs the last time. Um, he's a 5-year-old trained by Charles O'Brien. He was rated 89 last year and he's uh, he actually went up Six pounds for his last two seconds, but he's 12 to one. They're paying six places. I thought he was worth a punt at a pint each way at six, at six places at 12 to one. Um, he's been targeted at the big handicaps. The last one was five, the Rockingham was too short from this one is six. I think uh, it ticks a lot of boxes, so that's that one. Um, 
There's a couple of interesting ones then. Um, in two in Chester, uh, three forty one in Chester, a mile four, apprentice handicap, twelve declared. Halifan is in it that won for us last time over a mile six. Uh, you remember that some of you, um, he uh, he won it off eighty five in the stewards room when he was pushed out. But uh, I thought maybe um, he, uh, Star Caliber for Andrew Balding. He's only won for eight, um, but he's four year old out of Golden Horn. It's his first run of the year, but uh, he only he won only one. Uh, he won his only run as a two year old in Goodwood, and his um, Harry Davis is riding. Uh, is four to one. We just might have a pint win on that. Um, maybe anyone that won a few pound at Halif on the last day. Uh, I wouldn't begrudge having them, uh, you know, back of throwing a few pound each way, and maybe on him as well. I think he's about eight to one. And then Chester in the three o eight, a five furlong sprint, twelve declared. There's four places in this. Count Dorsey for Tim Easterby, a six year old gelding out of Dandyman. He usually runs on ground with cut. Um, I was looking in thirty five runs for Tim Easterby since leaving Charles O'Brien in Ireland. It ran only once and good to Ferrum, and that was third to Mackinac, and second in that was Copper Knight. Uh, with that angle, uh, Copper Knight, he was getting six pounds, but he's getting eight pounds this time, and the paid four places is 11 to one shot, a pint each way. Um, and then in the 256 at Newbury, the Hackwood Stakes, grade three, six furlongs, 14 declared. It was won last year by Happy Romance for uh, Richard Hannon as a three year old. And it's a four to one favourite tomorrow. Uh, I think it's between the two. Now it's a good race, but um, it's a group three. This or um, grade three, whatever you call it, uh, group three. Uh, man of pra uh, man of uh, promise uh, for Charlie Appleby is the highest rate at one hundred and seventeen. But they've they've close enough for him in Medan. And actually, Happy Romance was a, a neck ahead in the group one um, in sprint in Medan. And both were sort of down the field, you know, 6th and 7th and 8th and that in Group 1s in the Jubilee Stakes, for instance, and uh, uh, the July Stakes the last time. But I thought um, Hannah had a good, he's going well in this weather, and I thought that was worth a pint win at 4-1. to one. Anyway, um, that's about it, I think. Oh, yes, uh, Emily Upjohn is out of the Oaks tomorrow. Um, it sort of leaves the door open for Jessica Harrington's Ribsdale winner, uh, Magical Lagoon. It's out of Galileo, a mile and a half um, ground trip. Everything uh, is going grand for it. The other ones don't look to be up to that standard. It's a uh, five to four favourite. Um, it looks to be the one for tomorrow. Um, so uh, that's it. Um, well done, everyone that tipped up a winner today. And every, anyone that backed Mixed Dream, well done. And uh, hopefully the other one might run later. I, what time this will be up at now? Um, it's about quarter, ten to seven when it's gone up. So this gadget is getting slow again. I'll have to put a juice, bit of juice in her. Um, bash the bookies over and out.